Hi, thank you for joining us today. I'm Corey Keysweater, Senior Product Marketing Manager at Forcepoint, and I'm joined today by Anthony Bennis, Senior Product Manager here at Forcepoint as well. Today, we're going to be talking to you about uh, Forcepoint Remote Browser Isolation, RBI, and a new capability um, specifically around addressing a, a very difficult to address use case, blocking steganographic data exfiltration. Now, I want to start start this off by asking a rhetorical question. You know, um, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. How much is this picture worth? And to an APT group, a series of photos just like this was actually worth quite a bit. This particular APT group was able to compromise an employee at a large and very important manufacturing company. That employee sent an image just like this of a sunset to his personal email account each night a seemingly benign act. However, these images contain the schematics for a sophisticated jet engine that a foreign nation had been trying to steal. This is called steganographic data exfiltration. Steganography, just hiding information within an image. Now, this brings us to Forcepoint RBI and why we're here to talk to you today. Now, earlier at the beginning of this year, we announced the inclusion of Forcepoint Zero Trust CDR with Forcepoint RBI to automatically sanitize files downloaded from potentially malicious websites during an RBI session. Today, we're here to talk to you about the ability to use that same technology to automatically sanitize files that are uploaded during uh, an RBI session. So with this, we can see that uh, any document going through this CDR process is being uh, is having the information extracted so that any information behind, whether that's uh, schematics or malware, gets left behind in the original document. And we rebuild from scratch a brand new document that is identical and the same file type with the same information and data that looks just like the original file, but without any of the other hidden content. Now. I'm going to hand over to Anthony so we can see this in action. Anthony? Perfect. Thank you, Corey. That's great. Yeah, absolutely. Like you say, um, you can take your customer's confidential data and embed it in, a, in an innocent looking image. But I'll just do a quick demo and show you how easy that is. Let's take this image file here. It's 357 KB. And it's a picture of a tree that I took from my garden. And it's a standard uh, image. There's nothing special about it. And it doesn't contain any information right now. But I can take anything that's on my company network. I can take my customer credit cards. I can take maybe some advanced blueprints technology that we're working through. I can take the company's code base, you know, one file or all the files for that matter, and embed them in that image. And so it doesn't matter what kind of file type this is. You can do this with, with any files, PDFs, Word docs, anything. Yeah, any file type, any file size. Um, there's no limits to what you can embed uh, within an image uh, using steganographic technologies. Um, let me just show you how quickly that is. If I take the, the Cypress Java file that I have here and see if you just notice the, the file size here for the image is 357 KB. And I pass that through a stenographic tool, passing through a, a password. Um, whoops, let me do that again. There we go. And it's done. You can see there it took a few seconds or milliseconds. And the file size has decreased, even though we managed data to it. Let me quickly explain that. The technology I'm using to embed the sonographic content uh, compresses and encrypts the data, including the image itself. So you end up actually, in this case, paradoxically, with a smaller image size. But let me just view that image again. You know, if I was to put the two of them side by side, they'd be absolutely identical. And it's not like it's, it's embedded to the pixels or anything that, or like that. You know, the image is an image file. Uh, there's no way of visually detecting that there is data embedded in here. It's, it's encrypted within the data itself. And so now I have, you know, my, the credit card details or whatever it is I want to, to extract from my, from my customer's network or my own network. I can do that easily. Uh, with this image, it's gonna walk past traditional AB. It's gonna walk past traditional uh, security solutions uh, undetected and out of your network and to be sold to the highest bidder or whatever the reasons are. And let me just show you that uh, in practice as well. I mean, that's that's crazy. I've seen um, examples of this. I think there was a form of uh, Loki bot that used uh, steganography to move malware, a part of the actual executable code, into an environment. 
there's not a lot of tools out here. And this is one of the reasons why I'm so excited about our Zero Trust CDR, Content Disarm and Reconstruction Technology, and especially seeing it being embedded more and more into the different technologies that we offer. This really is, you know, the highest echelon of high assurance security. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree 100% with all of that. And just as you're speaking there, Corey, I've uploaded that file. Nothing prevented me from uploading the file. Let's walk through my AV. Um, and the file itself is as per the original. Uh, so I can now, at my home network or wherever it may be, download that and use it for whatever purpose. And then extract the data that's hidden inside it. That tree.jpg contains my Java file, but unknowns to my company that is now left the network. And I could be doing this for months, years, and nobody would detect this without something like RBI, CDR technology. So now if they have Forcepoint RBI managing those sessions and they try to do this, then what happens? Yeah, perfect. So in terms of RBI, we can quickly jump into our admin portal here. And very quickly, I'll just show you how easy this is to, um, to set up. So go to our policy. I'm going to edit my policy, and I've already said it already, but if you go down to file uploads and allow them, we disable them by default because we always go with the highest security posture. You can then just, with this checkbox here, CDR is enabled. That's all I need to do from a security administration point of view. There's, there's nothing complex here. It's basically, do you want to protect your files when uploaded? Yes, enable this file. And this is another thing that I love about Forcepoint and our you know, tagline of security simplified. You can add the highest echelon of security, of high assurance security, without overcomplicating your jobs. Yeah, absolutely. And that's philosophy behind RBI. Let's keep this as simple as possible. Let the technology do the hard work, the heavy lifting, and you continue on to do what, what, do what you do best. OK, so that's there. That's applied. So now if I go to an RBI session, which I have here, Okay, so I'm going to upload this file through the RBI session. Uh, click on upload here. I browse the file. Helps me in my RBI browse. And I got to go to this tree here again. So this is the tree. Again, it contains the, the encrypted uh, ciphers of Java content within that image file. And I click on open. You see at the bottom left hand side, this is force point CDR in action. It's now processing that file. But what it's doing here is it's Take a look at the image, extracting the visual representation of the image and creating a brand new file. So any data that was in that or embedded or encrypted or whatever way embedded in that file, that's now been removed because it's actually a brand new image that has been uploaded. So you even see here it's got a different file size um, because CDR has created a brand new file with a visual representation, a mirror image representation of the image. So I can now view this image uh, as it was in its original, but securely without any data embedded in it. So now this has been uploaded to the end user uh, the processing is no different to, to any other upload. Uh, and the data is safely and securely left in my customer's network. I love that. It's all, I, I called it uh, like bleach for documents before. But I mean, I think that is so apropos because it doesn't matter necessarily the specifics uh, behind what's hidden in the image. You, there's no signatures or you know anything that it has to match. It just sanitizes it. It doesn't care. It can be completely new or something that it's known about for 10 years and it has the exact same efficacy. Nothing's getting through. Exactly. That's, that's exactly it. Um, and what I can do is here with that file, I can, I think there's an option to download here. So I'll download that to my local PC here. And I have a prompt ready to go in downloads. So that's in my downloads folder, this tree. And if I go to extract the data, this here, this is the, the tool I'm using. I can extract that, that cipher.java uh, if I was a um, malintent user. Uh, and it'll ask me for my passphrase. And of course, there won't be anything to extract because this file doesn't have anything. If I have to jump back to my demo where I have the original file with, that I uploaded, I do the same thing. Let me just type it in here. And I enter in my password. You see here, it's now found the content in the image, cypress.java. And with the click of the yes button, I can now extract and take that data and download and use it. So, so what this could is have been a massive breach in your intellectual property that gives you the cutting edge for your industry could have been gone like that and nothing could have stopped it but 
force point RBI with CDR. Force point RBI with CDR. Uh, the scary thing for me is how simple this is. You know, you don't need to be an advanced hacker to steal this technology. Um, any bit of content could do that. And in fact, it's been used more and more for industrial espionage and things like that, where you do want to walk out of the business with the company's IP. Uh, so, you, you know, you need more advanced technologies. And the problem with traditional security, the reason why they can't detect it is they constantly have to be catching up, you know, some kind of mouse game, catch up with these detection capabilities, uh, and also one step ahead of the hackers. With a zero trust technology, as you know, RBI is your zero trust to your web access. With CDR included with all our RBI subscriptions, you have zero trust to documents, but that zero trust now is applied to uploads as well as downloads. So that zero trust is not defining or waiting on detection capabilities. It's just going to rip out anything that isn't necessary in a file and deliver the good. And I mean, why why focus in on the specific strain of malware? If you're going to get hacked, you're going to get hacked. It's just mm -hmm. better to block it all, right? Absolutely. Think about advanced malware. It's designed and targeted to bypass these uh, solutions. You know, it's it's using the most advanced you know uh, mechanism approach they have today, and you constantly have to catch up with that. So yeah, absolutely. By not trusting anything and by taking out anything potentially malicious, you save your organization that pain. Thank you for walking us through this demo, Anthony. I think this speaks volumes for just the efficacy of the solution, but also the threat out there and and how easy it is mm -hmm. to really you know, make way, make away with intellectual property, sensitive information, uh, if you do have malintent and, and yeah. the need to focus on zero trust solutions, uh, like force point RBI. Yeah. Well, with Look, that, it's, it's easy to, sorry. Yeah. It's easy oh. to, uh, walk out with this technology, but now it's even easier to prevent it. It's the, it's the click of this button, Corey, and that's it. I guess you could say it's just an easy button to stop data exfiltration. There you go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you everyone for, for watching today. Um, we want to please have uh, anybody that's interested in, in looking, learning more about Forcepoint RBI or any of the zero trust solutions from Forcepoint, please visit our website. You can go to forcepoint.com slash RBI to find out more information, look at a solution brief, data sheets, other demo videos, and of course, contact us for a one-on-one -on -one demo to see how this can work in your specific environments addressing your specific use cases. Thanks. Look forward to hearing from you soon. Great. Thank you. Thank you.